subscribe to this channel to join team microcontrollers hub so this is the third video in our video series of magical projects in which we are going to set up a web server free of cost where we will run python scripts on the back end so that we can receive the location data and show the latest location on a web page moreover we are also going to have a look at the system architecture or block diagram of this project so that you can have a better understanding of the complete system after watching this complete video you will have all necessary information to create your own web server so that you can show the latest location or any sensor data that you want so without wasting time Let's dive into today's video. Hello guys, Varad here from the Microcontroller Hub bringing you the best interesting projects and DIY tutorials. On this channel we do a lot of embedded stuff. So if if you are interested you can have a look at various interesting IoT project tutorials. Also if you want some architecture level understanding of microcontrollers then don't forget to check these videos on STM32 microcontroller. Finally, if you like my work and if you want to support this channel, then feel free to use our PayPal link, which is available in description as well. Since I uploaded the first video, I got thousands of comments. People were like, "Next part? When is second part? Please upload next part." Most of us are waiting. Please do it as soon as possible. Nice project. Please upload next part. Bro, can you please show next part? So I decided, let's hold the videos from our current pipeline and complete this project series. So the flow of this video goes like this. First of all, we will have a look at how I have divided this complete project into five video tutorials. Then we will have a look at the block diagram of this project. Finally, we will create the Amazon web server for our project. I will mention all the timestamps over here so that you can skip some part and move to the part you are interested in. But I would highly suggest you to follow this each and every step so that you won't miss anything. All right. So the complete video series goes like this. In the first video, we saw the hardware aspects of this project. There we discussed how Neo 6M GPS module works and complete circuit diagram. So if you haven't watched it yet, I will link it over here. In second video, we discussed about UBI dots, a web server which is completely configured, and you just have to send data to the provided link, and it will work. So again, I got a lot of comments to create the next part. So this is the third video in which we are going to set up a web server so that we can run the python scripts on the back end to receive the location data and show it on the web page. In the fourth video which will be coming next is about understanding those python scripts. In that video you will be able to just copy those scripts into your own web server and make the project work. In the fifth video I'm going to explain each and every steps in short so that you you will be able to follow those steps in one go. I'll mention all those links in the description so that it would be easier for you to navigate to any of this video. Block diagram. So this is the block diagram of our car GPS tracker system. On the left side we have our project hardware and on the right side we have user interface. The Neo 6M GPS module calculates the location data and send it on one second interval. Then Node MCU read and process this data and send it to Amazon AWS EC2 web server. On this web server we will run some php python scripts to receive the data and store it in a local file also there will be one html page which will read the latest data coordinates received from the node mcu and show it on google maps or open street map now for the user the interface will be very simple there will be a website link for the web server we are going to create today which will display the latest location data You will be able to access this website from any device like mobile phone or laptop provided that you have a internet access. That's it. Now if you find it little difficult to understand, don't worry. Just follow each and every step I mentioned and you will have your project ready. All right, now we have understood the complete block diagram. Let's move to AWS console to create your own web server. First, go on for AWS console and click first link for Amazon web service. Now if you already have an account then you can click on sign in to the console but if you are here for the first time then go to create a new account here you need to enter your email address password and it's a normal procedure as we do it in creating any account but here you also need to add your credit or debit card details in the next steps to complete the procedure now if you face any issues in creating this account then just watch a tutorial on how to create aws account There are a ton of videos available online to help you out. Also I would highly suggest you to check AWS website for the free tier details and make sure you follow those conditions so that you won't have to pay any extra bills. Okay, now as I already have an account, I will go for sign in. 
let me enter my login credentials after login you will see such user interface now let's search for ec2 and click on it ec2 stands for elastic computing cloud that is you can easily add or remove the computing power of your server now here you can select the region for your server i would suggest to keep it as default now let's click on launch instance here you can see multiple options available for the operating system of our server we will select this amazon linux ami for our project instance type is how powerful server you want we will go for t2 micro as it comes under free tier next is configure instance let's keep it as default for storage our project won't have huge memory requirement so let's go to the next step nothing to do with tags now for security group we need to add a rule for http so that we would be able to connect to our server using http protocol all right now let's review complete configurations everything looks good then click on launch button now a pop up comes for creating a key pair give some name to the new key pair and click on download key pair this is very important file for our web server so keep it at handy place like desktop and don't share it with anyone finally hit the launch instance to start your web server now let's check the launch log instance launch successful let's wait till instance state goes to running you can also give name to your instance over here i will rename it as car gps tracker system now our instance is running and this is the ip address of our website now if we try to open it we will see nothing because our server is created but we need to add html pages and start the server service furthermore also note down your public dns we will need it in further steps all right now our server is created in next video i will share the php scripts and server configurations to complete this project so hit subscribe button to get notified for that video and make sure to complete all the steps till this point before going to next step so if you found this video helpful then click on like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notified for upcoming video until then take care i am your host vk signing off